Hi everyone, my name is Flo Rieder. I'm a Dutch illustrator and I'm sitting here in my studio where I make all my work. Um, so we're gonna talk about uh, Alice in Wonderland. I made this book for uh, Pushkin's children's books and um, uh, I'm going to make a draw along for you guys. Um, so this is the original, one of the original uh, ways I make the illustration. So it's glass and I paint it all black and then I scratch out the image and the color I add in the computer. Um, for this one, for this draw along, we're going to use something that you can do at home. So a piece of blank paper, uh, some oily pastels, I use Van Gogh. Um, try to limit your use of colors. So um, we're going to draw a white rabbit, so we'll need white for sure. Um, you might think you can leave it blank, but then the scratching won't work. So you need the white pastel. Um, I just picked a few colors. Uh, it's nice to use uh, warm colors and cold colors. So blue and red and uh, pink. And then the gouache. I like this brand, but you can use whatever you like. Um, and, oh yeah, this is very important. You need, you need something very sharp, like this one. Mm. So I thought it would be nice to draw something a little bit similar, like this one, but then a little bit more simple. So the white rabbit with uh, in the forest, and then you can see you can see the house in the background. Um, so we're gonna just do the rabbits, and then um, a little bit something like this. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're going to start with the white uh, oil pastel. Um, we're just making a circle in the middle because this is where the rabbit will be. And we'll need the white because otherwise if you leave it blank, it's like I said, then you won't be able to scratch out later. Um, so once you have the white in the middle, you can add the color. Don't do it reversed because your white won't be white, but it will be pink as well. So start with it, you know, just add a little bit. It has to be all covered with the oil pastels. The red. Just try to limit your color use because otherwise, well, at least that's what I do because my illustrations are always quite full. So to have it a little bit more balanced, I cheat a little bit with the colors and just use two or two and um, lighter version of those two. Uh, so now I chose uh, blue and red, but you can choose whatever you like. I always like to use, like I said, a warm and a cold color, but it doesn't really matter. And then a bit of pink around the edges. And once you're done, you can use the gouache and paint it all black. This is a weird feeling to, to make your own painting all black, but you'll, you will like it later. I actually really love black, as you can imagine, especially for the Alice in Wonderland book because it's such a dark and mysterious story and I thought a lot of black would be a great match to, um, for the story, just to give it a little bit more mystery and the rough um, line you get with, with the scratching. I really like that as well. So you have a little bit less of the, the perfect smooth Alice, but a little bit more of the rough and um, yeah, a more mysterious Alice. I really like that. So now it's all the way black and then um, just leave it uh, to dry. You can pour yourself a cup of tea and now it's dry. So we'll start with the eye. 
first make a tiny white dot in the middle a little bit bigger and then a white circle just around it leave a small black line around it so we have to think reversed because now we have the black paper instead of a white paper and we draw in white uh, spaces in between the black lines so you have to think about the spaces in between the lines not the line itself itself so this is the third circle now we have the eye it's it's the rabbit looking surprised so this is why we need a big eye so now think about the mustache we leave out the mustache there you go and in the end of the mustache this is where the nose is and the nose is kind of a triangular form with a line underneath it and then the mouth um, so first start with line and now a smaller line underneath it first make the line of the of the face and then you can scratch out that entire part it doesn't really matter if some parts are a little bit more scratchier than other parts I think that's the charm of the material so don't be bothered um, so this is the face already perfection a little bit now for the ears so this is a more scratchier part doesn't matter first ear then the second line back leave a little bit of black inside the ear and then behind it the other ear try not to touch the the part of the head if you know what I mean so there you go this is a white rabbit kind of surprised because it's too late it has to hurry so here's the upper arm he's wearing kind of an old-fashioned jacket and a white hand like rabbits do tend to hold their arms I don't know if that's accurate but doesn't matter and the color and the other arm so this is kind of not very easy so I really have to didn't put enough wax crayons underneath it so as you can see it's perfect white and um, the colors we used is a little bit more on the edges so we'll see that later now I'll make the the hay or grass and in that part it's probably where the red will be we'll see there you go just add the lines we'll perfection it later so yeah there, there there's the red so usually I, I add the colors in the computer so there's no big surprise on what color will come out so I prefer actually I prefer this and this is for add more stripes to have a bit of um, more of a hay grass flowery field feeling and a little bit of dots you can make flowers if you like or 
doesn't matter. So for the cover, we're kind of trying to make a frame like this one. To start with a sort of a reversed S and then double it in the in the, a part and here this is a correct S and then double it. We'll scratch out the inside later and then the same here is a normal S and then a reverse. Now you can scratch out the middle part and now you can see the colors really popping up. I like it. Don't forget to wash your face later, because if you're a nose picker, then probably needs to look at the mirror. So we're going to make a little bit of these um, ovals here, and then in the middle part, three of them, and then connect them later. Just first make the ovals, and then here in the middle, and the smaller one just above, and on the other side, and then connect them, like that. And then another S, in reversed, from uh, first to, yes, this is a S, and then the other reversed, and then double it. You really don't have to follow my rules. Prefer the, prefer, I prefer it if you don't. But this is just how I usually work. So feel free to do something very different. And another, and now the frame is connected. Maybe perfection it a little bit. You'll see that this is kind of a, a addictive way to work. To see what colors are underneath the black. So I always like it if it's almost connected to the lines. So make the grass all the way to the line, but not um, do not connect the lines, if you know what I mean. So if you've been watching the entire video, you're probably holding a drawing of a white rabbit as well. Um, please give me a message on Instagram um, to show me the result because I'm very, very curious to see what you made of it. Thank you. Bye bye.